Welcome back to Post Time. We are in the driver's lounge looking for three-time driving champ at Harrington Raceway. Ross always turns me down for an interview, and he hasn't been on the show for like 12 years, but he always does an interview with Marv and Matt, so I was like, totally not fair, so we had to ambush him today. All right, we're going to talk a little bit about you being from New Zealand. So when did you come over to the United States? 1990. <laughs> As always, Frank Milby's in the background, uh, doing something hysterical, entertaining the troops here. Uh, so you started, you went from New Zealand to California to New Jersey to Delaware, is that right? Uh, a little bit, a lot of bit in between, back to California, back to New Zealand, back to Jersey, back to, and then Delaware. Delaware was 2003. How often do you get to go home to New Zealand? Not enough, can't afford it. <laughs> <laughs> That's hard for me to believe, but we're going to find out how well you know your country. Is the largest city in New Zealand Wellington true or false? False. What is it? Auckland. Ah, very nice. True or false? New Zealand means land of the long white pillow. Pillow? No. <laughs> you know what it is? Long white cloud, isn't it? Yes, that's correct. True or false? There are two sheep to every human in New Zealand. That is false. There's a mega more. <laughs> There's nine sheep to every person. Very good. I'm learning something. Okay, good. True or false, New Zealand is the home of the biggest earthworms. That I don't know. It's true. True or false, there are one billion snakes living in New Zealand. No snakes in New Zealand. Isn't that interesting, people? There are no snakes in New Zealand. You learned something. Now, I have a surprise for you. Okay. I'm hoping that it didn't get all messed up in here. Because you don't get to go home that often. Maybe. Show me that, eh? This would make you on feel. <laughs> on you don't eat Marmite on crackers? That's very strong looking there. <laughs> tell, tell me what Marmite is. Yeah. It's a yeast extract, but it's been around for years. Very tasty. You've got to get a liking to it. I have had it before, yeah. It's definitely an acquired taste. Well, this is airing on Sunday. So happy Sunday to everybody that's watching. If you're in New Zealand and you are pirating the WBOC broadcast, it is Monday, right? Over there, this is correct, yes. Right. Yep. The first um, country to see the sunrise and the first country that Santa Claus visits. So some great things about New Zealand. But the good thing about being in America is you're a day younger here than you would be in New Zealand, right? That's correct, but it takes you a day to get home. Ah, oh, okay, I'll have to think about that for a while. <laughs> That'll take me a while to figure out the math. Thank you, Ross, for being on the show. And no teaching us a little bit about your native home. Thanks. Bye-bye.